Hey everybody, this is Jerome BFAM Cooking. You know what this is. Not another cooking episode. This one, we're talking to some people from a very special place that I hope that you will remember this, during this time of the year. People from Jersey. Yes, that's right. I'm in Long Island. They're in Jersey. But this lady has come a long way through the interwebs to say hello to you and tell you a little bit about her program. They're table to table. Enjoy. And Julie, tell us a little about yourself. Well, thank you so much for having me. So I'm Julie from Table to Table. I am the Vice President of Operations, and I've actually been with Table to Table since the very beginning. Um, I guess we've been around now for about 23 years, if you can believe it. And I started as a volunteer for the first about eight years or so, and then came on full time. I've worked with um, restaurant donors, grocery store donors. Um, I've worked with our recipient agencies. I've worked our events. So I have truly kind of worked everything uh, within the uh, charity and now I'm the VP of operations so um, I worked my way up there I think for sure <laughs> definitely definitely moving on up as a, I like to uh, reference the Jeffersons moving yeah. on. <laughs> but uh, the, the biggest thing is what does your program do what does your organization do table to table is a is a food-based charity and yeah absolutely so we are a food rescue organization we are like you said based in new jersey but we are based in four northern counties bergen hudson essex and passaic county we have seven trucks out on the road they are refrigerated trucks out on the road every day and they're picking up food that would be wasted from places like you know, grocery stores and catering facilities, meal kit programs like HelloFresh, Marley Spoon, um, uh, companies that supply restaurants like Driscoll. Um, and then we're taking that food and turning it right around and delivering it to people or places feeding the hungry. So we deliver um, in all four counties, same as we pick up from, um, to homeless shelters, food pantries, soup kitchens, a lot of churches, especially in the last two years now that the pandemic gosh can't believe we're coming up to two years but um it, a lot of churches kind of came together so a lot of churches are doing neighborhood distributions and and um, they're delivering food to the neighbors that they know who are hungry so we deliver to the agencies that are feeding the hungry outstanding it sounds like an outstanding program i'm to understand that you also uh, deal with military people which is one of my major you know connection points because i'm ex-air force so uh you know there there are a lot of people who are in need out there since covid has happened and be prior to that and and is that true that you're military connected yeah, absolutely. So we are um, in several different ways. We're military connected in the sense that we not only supply food to veterans who need it, and we do it through various VFW halls. Um, the one in Oakland, New Jersey comes to mind, the one in Bayonne. Um, I think there's one in Jersey City. So we deliver, we deliver um, food to different hubs, different places, and then they deliver it out to the VFWs. But we also have um, veterans who are volunteering with us. So so they um, work the neighborhood distributions and they work the kitchens. Um, they're they're noticeable. They have the cool hats and the and the vests and and you know they're very proud of who they were and who they are today. Um, so it truly is an honor to work side by side with them, but then also you know feed the ones who really need our help. Well, you know when uh, when I was working for that company, I used to uh, serve and and uh, lead that that organization for New York. I hope that they at NBC actually uh, Veterans Network help out and and do something uh, towards the helping your group help the veterans. You know I, I know that they have uh, service organizations and time that they take out to help and maybe they could uh, support with their their Care Tuesday I think it is or or I think that's what it was called. But anyway, the the most important thing is that people during this time of year are taken care of. We used to do something called Friendsgiving when I was at work and also when I was in the military, bring yeah. everybody together. And it's about, you know, not only me taking care of you because you're my neighbor, obvious, that's somebody you should be taking care of, but mm -hmm. also the other people that you don't know of that are your neighbors who you've seen on the street and they need help, you know? So 
Tell me a little bit about uh, what you guys are, are interested in doing this year. So, you know, we have from the beginning, um, 23 or so years ago, from the very beginning, we really kept our program focused. Um, pick up on trucks, deliver the same day, you know, get that food out. Um, recently, we have developed an app um, called the iRescue Table to Table app. It is right now specific to Bergen County in Northern New Jersey, and it connects um, volunteers with recipients and with donors. So if you have the app on your phone, you can certainly download, you would get a notification. Um, it would tell you where the rescue is. You would claim it if you wanted to claim it, if you had the good time, um, then you would do the rescue yourself. So it could be going from a place like Trader Joe's or Whole Foods foods or a smaller place like one of our restaurant partners and you would pick up the food and then continue on the app and it would tell you exactly where to drop it off it could be a group home um, it really kind of it's a really simple app it's really cool to use and that's something that we're really excited about right now so it's like the uber for for food Exactly. <laughs> it's exactly. like it's like a grub hub delivery service for, yeah. for volunteer service. But no money being exchanged. That's <laughs> that is fantastic. I, I, that's good to know you can get food moved from point A to point B and and interact with people. So you said so you're gonna obviously I need to put the the link underneath so everybody just check on the link underneath, right? You <laughs> give me that link. Is there anything else that that's happening? Are you doing anything else that, that's special? This so, year? because of the holidays, you know, we're always looking for financial donations, but not because the holidays we're charity we're always looking for donations uh, it's just part of the nature of the beast of um and certainly the website you can follow the website and find something there it's www.tabletotable.org um we have something called bag a lunch help a bench which allows or suggests that people bag their lunch that day and donate what they would have spent on lunch one day a simple five dollar donation allows us to bring 50 meals to um, a church or to an agency. We do what we do for less than 10 cents a meal. We don't charge for the pickup. We don't charge for the delivery. Where that money is going to is our trucks, our drivers, and our staff. Um, so it's, uh, it's, it's, we do a lot for very little. This year, I think we will Gosh, our pounds are out of control. I think we're around 37 million meals or so this year. I mean, it's a huge amount of food that we're moving um, in a very short time. So it's such a, such a um, small area too. I mean, Northern Jersey. It is, and it's only in these four mm -hmm. counties. I mean, that it it dumbfounds me the amount that we're able to pick up in just a small area. Um, can you imagine what's going on in the rest of the state and the rest of the country? I mean, it's just mind boggling. If you need Thankfully, that much food in, the, in the, that little bit of an area, can you imagine what's out there? There's a lot yeah. of people in need out there. And I, I hope everybody uh, gives a little bit. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? I mean, I'm always interested to know who are the people who actually volunteer their time and effort to to support such a a, a great uh, need that that's required out there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see. What can I tell you? I am a yeah. single mom. Um, I have two amazing teenagers. One that's in college in New York City at the New School terrifies me every day that she's away from me. But um, and then I have a senior in high school still at home with me. She's probably in her room right now rolling her eyes that she can overhear what I'm saying. Um, I have um, uh, a small family. I'm an only child, but um, I was raised by some pretty incredible parents and they always taught me that it was so important to do whatever you could for your neighbor and for your friends and your family. And, um, and I take that with me every day. When the kids were small, I remember dragging them along to rescues that we did. I had a big suburban when the kids were small and so I would go and pick up food and deliver it into Patterson. And the kids were just along for the ride and they've seen it. They grew up with it. Um, so it's very natural for them to join me and, and work at a market or, you know, really, you know, they're just so used to giving back. It's something that I'm very proud of. And, um, and it's very easy to do. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. it's, it's a good that, that you give them this example as to, you know, how you can build and support your community. You know, it's really important to me as a, as a military person. I, I can tell you that, that uh, that's one of the reasons why we do what we do. You know, so I'm really happy to, to, to have met you, Julie. So you. what I really want to know is, is there so, anything else that you can think of in this holiday season that you would love for Santa to bring you? <laughs> Oh gosh, so much! No. <laughs> you and no, the organization. I, what what can Santa do for you? You know, honestly, it's to to make our days easier at work, um, to make it easier for our drivers, to make it easier for our staff, for um, more food donors to contact us. We're always looking for more food. Um, for you know, financial donations to come in. I hate to be so ASCII and so grabby, but it, it is true. I mean, the you know, the more the merrier. And um, and there is always another place that is calling me on a daily basis looking for food. And I can't always say yes because we just don't have the amount of food that it takes. So if if I could have anything, it would just be an endless supply of you know, good, healthy produce and dairy and meat to be able to supply the neighbors and and, uh, and the churches and the homeless shelters, everybody that's asking. So do you actually prepare the food or you just, you just transport the food from A to B? We just transport from A to B. Um, we work with over 225 or so um, places that get the food out. So um, I've really met some amazing um, volunteers, staff. I, I mean, it, this, this, the last 20 years has truly been such a gift um, because of the people that I've worked with um, side by side. You know, we have um, something that we like to call a mobile market. Um, it doesn't have any wheels, but it, it's, it's a market of sorts. And um, volunteers go to, there's the one um, in Newark and the Ironbound that comes to mind. We deliver the food and that's what we do. But they have have staff members as well as volunteers at the ICC in the Ironbound and they set up rows of food and then they have volunteers that come and make the bags and in some of the highest times they're making 2,000, 2,500 bags of mm. beautiful produce that we're getting from HelloFresh and delivering to them and then that's going out within the neighbors and uh, that it, it's overwhelming to see it's it's incredible to see the people they're having fun they're singing they're dancing as they're making these bags for their neighbors and uh, it's 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 so it's um it just really makes you feel good it makes you feel like you're doing absolutely the right thing wow that's really incredible i mean just the opportunities that, that you're presenting by just creating creating that that pathway from point a to point b mm -hmm. right and then then someone can turn it into something else transform it that will make so many people who need it so happy yeah you know, absolutely um, yeah, just just as incredible. I can think of, you know, if you're just talking straight produce, I'm, I can think of a, a few recipes that, that yeah. can do something really nice with uh, to get out to the people.